exactly what are the main objectives of fasting? Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma abad. Awuzu billahi minish shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbi shali sadri wa yassir li amri wa halul ugdata min lisani yafqa wa kawli. There are many objectives of fasting. I'll just list the main ones. Number one is seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two is to obtain taqwa, to acquire taqwa, that is God consciousness, piety, righteousness. And you can say when you acquire taqwa, but natural, when you learn taqwa, automatically even the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes in it. So the first one can be included in the second one. The third is for entering Jannah. We fast for entering Jannah. Number four is for the expiation of our sins. Number five is to seek the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number six is for the forgiveness of our sins. If we fast, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives our sins. Number seven, to acquire a shifa. That is the right to intercede, the right for intercession. If we fast, the fast will intercede on the day of judgment for us. Number eight, it is to realize the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number nine, to increase our willpower and our determination. Number 10, it is to acquire good deeds. Number 11 is to gain more honesty. Number 12, it is to decrease our desire, diminish one's desire. Number 13, to narrow the passage of the Satan. Fasting narrows the passage of the Satan. Number 14, to act as a shield. Fasting is a shield for the believer. Number 15, to abstain from false speech. And number 16, to abstain from false actions. These are the major objectives of fasting. Oh, Jazakallah khair, Dr. Zakir, regarding that introduction. And we should be covering all of those uh, <laughs> subtitles today, inshallah. Insha I hope. Time permitting, of course, inshallah.